Hi everyone! I had taken a um, video of my wish tree about, I don't know, five months ago? And I never actually added the words or like spoke throughout the video. I just left it completely empty. It was silent, it was strange, and now I'm coming back with a second video describing what you see. Um, and that is our wish tree, and this is in our bedroom. I'm not going to show the rest of our bedroom right now. I probably will, it's been updated, but this is a video just on the wish tree. Um, a little background, my husband and I were married in Cancun, Mexico. It was a destination wedding, and we wanted a simple, when we got back, um, our wedding was only of 20, um, when we got back to our state of Michigan, we wanted something on the beach on Lake Superior with just family and like a nice sit down dinner. And when we had that dinner, I wanted a wish tree and I wanted all of our friends and family to take a card off the tree, add a little something and then put it back on and we'll have it forever. So that's what our little setup looks like right now. Hopefully this will be in a living room type of room someday, maybe not our bedroom, but it's so stinking cute. Okay, what you're looking at right now, and that's my husband's iPad, don't look at that, he charges it right there. Um, that was our wedding program, that was our ring bowl, we never did a ring pillow, I don't like the look of a pillow, I think it looks dorky, and then um, a seashell. I'm sorry if that offended anyone, it just didn't look right for a destination wedding, that's all. Okay. So when you come in really close, that was our program. Um, a ring bowl with our date. It was so stinking cute. And then you put the ring on there. It's so cute. Um, then I took big jars that I had bought from TJ Maxx Home Goods. And I think they came to like $14 or something. I bought two of them. So for like $28, bucks, they are big, beautiful jars. And I wanted to fill them with the sand from Lake Superior on the beach. So that is real Michigan Lake Superior sand. The shells inside, ooh, way in there, are from Mexico. And we just added some simple decorative things, um, some gems and stuff. The bottom, um, I, I like to call them the trunks, but they're just an upside down um, candle holder from Walmart. And it's like a nice brown wood. It, it went really well with the colors I chose for the wedding. Okay. The um, the string of gems and stuff I actually got from saveoncrafts.com. And if you're planning a wedding, that's a perfect website to visit. So I hope you go there. It was super cheap. And this type of stuff I think I got from Joann's. And I just strung that around. Um, that was given to me from my grandma. And things like that. I just added little gems here and there. Okay, let me grab a card and I'll kind of talk to you about how we did this. Okay, for example, we had uh, my friend Michelle create cards for us. I gave her the look I wanted. I gave her exactly what I wanted it to, to be, the shape, the colors, the textures, and she created it for me. My computer at the time was crashed. It was not working. And so she created them and I paid her a little bit. Um, and she used some coral and that was the the look of our whole wedding right there We had this coral on our invitations and like you saw on the programs. It was all over the place So I tied in that coral. I love coral Okay, so we had heavy-duty cardstock and that's just a simple gem and it says wishes and everyone that saw the wish cards saw this sign also and it says please write your well wishes for the newlyweds and that's, oh, my chipped nail. And that's on the wish tree, like stand. So then all of our relatives came over, and I had a little jar of markers, all different colors, and they just wrote our names. Holly and Aaron, or Aaron and Holly, always love each other no matter what. Um, and always love each other as much as you do today. Love Grandma and Grandpa. And like a few of them say, just always love each other, make babies, funny things like that. Um, oh, wow, that one's long. Talking about they wish they were in Cancun with us. A lot of our family couldn't make it. Um, health reasons, financial reasons, different things like that. And some people, it was just a personal choice. But I'm not going to even discuss that. Um... But yeah, it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. It's really pretty. 
I'm hoping, um, and actually those branches were in the back of my parents' house, so everything has sentimental value to it. Every single thing, from the branches to the sand to the shells. Um, it all has meaning to it. We love it. And then with our stand, because his iPad is new, we wanted to keep it up from the dog. Um, he's just going to leave it there for right now. But everything down here is wedding related too. We have a basket full of all of our cards, a jar, a vacation jar. I might do a video on that. Um, every time we go out, my husband and I go on vacation, we put together a jar and fill it with goodies. Um, underwear, bridal signs, his tie from the wedding. Um, it, I mean, we snorkeled together. Um, that was one of the wedding favors, a pashmina fan that we had at our wedding. Everything down here is wedding related and it's very, very special to us. But overall, I think if you do a wish tree, you'd be a big hit at the wedding. If you wanted to do yours, I might even string lights some days, like a simple light throughout the whole thing. So then we're sleeping. It would just be like lit up and pretty. And But yeah, that's the wish tree and I hope you all like it. Leave some comments below. I love hearing comments and feedback. And if you'd like to see another video about anything to do with weddings, um, how I did my destination wedding in Mexico, and maybe I'd throw in a few pictures. Um, but yeah, comment me and let me know. Bye.